everyone, welcome back to my channel where I talk about breath, mental health and occupational well-being. In this video, I'm going to dive into a fascinating and important topic in healthcare, attitude and belief system. I'll explore how our thoughts, beliefs and even subconscious biases shape the way healthcare professionals interact with patients and make critical decisions in their work. So let's get into it. First, let's define attitude. In healthcare, attitude isn't just about being friendly or polite. It's a combination of thoughts, beliefs, judgment, values, and emotion. Think of it as underlying mindset that influences how professionals approach the work, their patient, and the ethical challenges they face daily. While kindness may come naturally to some, others cultivate it by broadening their understanding and empathy around it. And this can be achieved through reflective learning and exposure to diverse perspectives. So even though we can't teach kindness, we can certainly nurture it. Attitude in healthcare aren't just personal quirks. They are deeply rooted in personal beliefs, upbringing and cultural background. For example, healthcare workers may care for people whose lifestyle or choices are foreign to them, like IV drug users or patients who refuse certain treatments. When this happens, it's crucial to set aside personal judgments and focus on compassionate, unbiased care. Here's where the cognitive dissonance comes into play, when there is a clash between the professional's belief and patient's need. Imagine a patient with cancer refusing treatment. For the professional, this is uncomfortable, but this discomfort actually useful because it pushes them to realign their thoughts so that they can offer more respectful and compassionate care no matter their own beliefs. Now let's talk about the effective component, which is very prominent and a very important part of the curriculum in healthcare education, which focuses on building the compassion and empathy within the healthcare professional. The goal is to foster the habits of mind that make understanding and empathetic care a second nature. In healthcare, habits like openness, respect for differing values and critical thinking are essential components to provide care that is both ethical and compassionate. They ensure that the personal biases don't interfere with the patient care, making these habits essential building blocks for strong therapeutic relationship. Well, um, that's all in theory, right? Let's be practical. Healthcare professionals have their own beliefs and values, and these can sometimes differ greatly from those of their patient. But professionalism requires more than just thinking compassionate thoughts. It's about aligning their actions with value of respect, kindness, and non-judgment. This balance of thought and action builds a non-judgmental environment, which is very vital for creating a therapeutic alliance. So even when biases exist, behavior should align with standards of compassionate care. Experiential and reflective learning is a huge part of developing and sustaining a compassionate attitude. Um, in healthcare education, we model the COPS experiential uh, learning cycle and where the model helps the professionals reflect, adapt and grow through their experiences. Using tools like a learning portfolio and reflective journals, healthcare workers document their thoughts, emotions and reactions. Over time, these tools reveal the growth in empathy and professionalism, serving as a mirror to see how far they have come. Artistic and creative expression in healthcare is more valuable than you think. Engaging in those activities can deepen empathy by making compassionate feeling more tangible and uh, more relatable to the current living situation. Creative exercises connect the healthcare professionals with human experience, encouraging them to approach each patient with dignity and respect. It's a way to build resilience while fostering a sense of shared humanity, helping practitioners align their personal values with professional responsibilities. So healthcare is about more than medical procedures or knowledge. It's about people. By embracing the cognitive dissonance, engaging in reflective practice, and committing to compassionate care, healthcare professionals create an environment where patient feels respected, heard, and valued. Thanks for watching until the end of the video and being engaged with me. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more insights on healthcare and professional development. Until next time, stay compassionate and curious. Signing off, Devi Sundar.